Hello friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And thank you so much to all of my friends who have been supporting me through this journey. I am so utterly grateful and appreciative of your support. Thank you so much. So today I just want to do a project share with you. I have so many projects I'm in the middle of finishing up. So I'm actually going to have several videos over the next few days. I took a few a few days of PDO from work so that I could get caught up around the house, get caught up with projects that I'm doing. And yeah, I have a lot to do. So let's get into these videos. So what I wanted to show you today, we'll start with this guy here. So this is so cute, the Grinch. And I love how he turned out. I feel like this color is so perfect for him. Now I'm hoping that it shows up really nice on the camera but I will do a picture outside for the thumbnail just to make sure that you guys can see the color really good. Now, what I use for that is this Martha Stewart glitter and emerald. I got this from Michaels. So I will tell you, I use this often and I have had this probably for two years now. And you can see I still have quite a bit left of it. It's down to about there. I paid $6.99 for it and I used a coupon. So, and it is still a regular glitter that they carry at Michael's. Now for the Grinch face, I took a Google image and I put it into Cricut, into Design Space, cleaned it up, and then I did a print and cut with clear sticker paper. So the reason why I did the print and cut on this, two things. The eyes, I wanted them to be yellow, but they're so small. I didn't want to have to go in and do vinyl on top of vinyl in order to have the black with the yellow eyes. And then the other thing is I knew I would be doing a clear sticker paper with this because the way the eyebrows are, I didn't want to have to cut into all of that and have a problem with any sort of little frillies. So what I did when I put this in, I cleaned this part up together as one piece and then when it printed, I just printed it in a square. So you can't see, you see, you can't see any sort of edging at all from the clear sticker paper. Once the epoxy goes over, you don't see any sort of edging. Now the mouth, I did that one separate. And the reason why I did that was because of the curved surface. I didn't want to add it all together because I knew I'd have to go in, cut slits, all of that, and, you know, take a chance of getting a little bubble up in here trying to go over a curved surface. So instead, I cut that out separately. Now, the one thing I will say, I have a little bit of a rise right here. And because these things that are so thin, Sometimes it's really easy to have something that's a little lifted and not realize it. So I have a little bit of rise in my epoxy here. And you know, it's not noticeable unless you point it out to be, to be honest. And with that, you know, what I would suggest and what I will probably do next time I make this little Grinch face, because I plan on doing a couple of these for the holidays, I will probably go over this with some glue. And just make sure that it stays down nice and flat on both sides. You see this one is perfect. Nothing got under, but it's just a little bit of a rise right there. And then of course you can always you can always do it in a square. You know, I sometimes myself have a little challenge when I'm putting things over that curved surface that have a 
curved look to them and you can put slits and they come out well so I just thought that would be easier for me but you know maybe not but all in all though this turned out so super cute I have one little place right there where I somehow got a piece of black glitter in there but you know it is what it is it happens but this really did turn out really nice and I feel like the person who's going to get this as a gift will really really like it so again ceramic mug from Target and that was the Martha Stewart glitter in emerald now the other one is this one. Oh, I am so in love with these colors so first of all I can see that in the camera it looks like there is a wrinkle right here but please know there is not a wrinkle at all it is just like the shadowing of the picture and then the way the lights hitting it so there's no wrinkle in it it just looks like it so this again is a ceramic tumbler from um, Target and look how pretty this turned out oh I love it so much turned out so good so this image is again I did a print and cut I found the image in Google and this one I did print and cut on the silhouette glitter sticker paper so I just thought that that would be really really pretty on there so yeah I did it on that I really love the sticker paper I think it looks so nice and then I used my print and cut feature in my Cricut to cut that out and then the glitter on this so this is urban cowgirl from glitter chimp and you can see how that looks oh I am in love this is so gorgeous so gorgeous and then this color up here this is infinity and blue yawned again so pretty and these two colors together look just so beautiful if I were like selling a packet like I would sell these together and call it like something blue you know because they look so good together and they are like perfect Tiffany blue colors together. So anyways, this just really turned out good. Again, I think that the person who will be getting this as a gift will be super happy and I absolutely love it. So yep, here are my two shares and I will have other videos coming very soon. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. Thanks friends, I'll see you later, bye.